In these problems, we're doing some more work with the sum and difference identities. In this case, however, we are using degree measures instead of radians for our angles. And then we've got you know, some uh, sort of filled out formula here, one of these parts of the formula, and we need to sort of recognize which sum or difference this is going to be. So it's kind of backwards from the way we were using it before. If you look at this first one, we want to find the value of this complicated expression, the sine of 181 degrees times the cosine minus the cosine times the sine of these things. So let's look for that pattern in our sum and difference identities. So sine, then cosine, and a minus sine in between. So sine, cosine, minus sine, cosine, sine. So it looks like this one. So this is the sine of a minus b. Well, a is 181 and b is 31 degrees. So this is the sine of 150 degrees. And you may or may not be used to looking for these degree measures on the unit circle. I've put in a unit circle that's got the degree measures. But that 150 degrees happens right here at 5 pi over 6. So this is actually one that we can just get from our regular unit circle with the, the measurements for the special triangles on it. So the sine here is the y value. And that is 1 half at 5 pi over 6 at 150 degrees. So the answer here is just 1 half. All right, let's try another one. This one uses the tangent. We're adding on the top, and then we've got 1 minus uh, the 2 on the bottom. So that looks like this one. So this is the sum of these two. So this value right here is going to be this, the tangent of the sum of those two angles. So tangent of 120 plus 30. And look at that. We add up at, uh, end up at 150 again, so the tangent of 150. We need to do a little bit more work because the tangent is the sine over the cosine. The sine is the um, y value, and the cosine is the x value. So negative 3 over the square root of 2. If I multiply by 2 over 2, those all those 2s will cancel. I'm going to get a negative 1 over the square root of 3. And then I'm going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the square root of 3 over 3, I square root of 3 over square root of 3. And what we get on top is square root of 3. And on the bottom, we get 3. So that is the answer for the tangent of 150. And that's a little bit more work with this sum and difference identities.